Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. A couple days I did a video talking about the latest version of Lightroom Classic CC version 7.3. And in that video I talked about the new profiles that are in Lightroom. And since that video came out, I've received numerous questions about profiles in Lightroom Classic CC version 7.3. So I thought I'd do this short video and we're going to talk about it a little bit more in depth. Now the main question I've been getting is what's the difference between a profile and a preset? Well, I'm going to use this image as an example. It's a raw file and it's not been processed at all. And usually in my opinion, you're going to want to use a preset to get in and out of Lightroom relatively quickly. You don't have time. You're just going to come in, get a preset, apply it. If it looks good, you're done. If not, you might tweak it a little, move one or two sliders, then you're done. So for this image, I'm going to apply a preset and I'm working on a new set of landscape presets. And if you see, I could hover over, um, I could hover over any of these. This is a new uh, feature of Lightroom and it will like apply that preset um, preview to the image. Now let's say for this image I'm going to apply green grass blue sky and you could see that it actually moved the sliders around, moved the tone curve around because I did tone curve adjustments for that preset, uh, moved the HSL sliders around so the preset is added to the image. It looks pretty much done to me but sometimes it isn't. You'll apply a preset and maybe the image is a little bright or it's a little dark and you'll come in and you'll move one or two sliders to touch it up to be perfect for you, then you're done. The bad thing about presets is you can't stack them. So you can't put another preset on top of the preset because it'll overwrite it and you'll lose those previous settings. So again, in my opinion, presets are for speed. Get in and out of Lightroom fairly quickly. The other thing is maybe it'll give you a look you didn't realize you could get with Lightroom. And you could use a preset to get this really kind of different type of look that you, was, you weren't aware was possible. Now, as far as profiles, they're similar but different. And I'm going to reset the image so we're back to our raw file. And in the past, profiles were down in the calibration tab. And the question I often get is, why are they down there? Because they do change your Im image significantly. You would think that you would do that first, then process off that. And that is, I believe, why Adobe moved the profiles to the basic tab. And to apply a profile, you could open the profile browser by clicking these four squares. And you can see that Adobe comes with a number of different profiles now. Also, third-party people could create profiles for you, and I'm creating a set of profiles for uh, Lightroom. And here is one here. I hope to have them actually done today. So look for those very soon. But let's apply this profile I call Big Sky. Now that is pretty much done. But with that said, a profile isn't necessarily meant for you to be done, meaning get in and out of Lightroom fairly quickly. The profile is really meant to be the base. You're going to process off that base. So you're going to apply a profile to give you a certain feel or look and then process from there. Now in this case here, I applied this profile. And if we close the profile browser, none of the sliders are moved at all. The tone curve isn't moved. The HSL sliders are not moved. So now I could come in here and I have full range of the sliders, whereas with the preset, you didn't have full range of the sliders. They were already moved. So if, let's say, highlights were moved all the way down on a preset and you apply it, but your highlights are still too bright on your image, you can't move it down anymore. It's all the way down. The profile, the highlights, and all the other sliders are at their default position. So you have full range of movement with the sliders. The other nice thing about profiles and it's not on all profiles it will only be on the profiles below this line artistic black and white modern vintage and any uh, third-party profiles that you purchase there'll be an amount slider and with the amount slider you could actually make the profile stronger by moving the amount slider to the right or you could make the profile 
weaker by moving the amount slider to the left. And presets don't have that ability. There is a third party plugin for Lightroom that allows you to use a uh, kind of, they call it a fader slider to uh, fade out a preset if it's too strong. But there's nothing built into Lightroom to allow you to do that. So that is another difference between the two. The other thing that you should be aware of is that you can't really stack profiles either. Like you come in and you pick another profile, it's going to totally overwrite the previous profile. So you can't stack them. But what you can do is you could come in first and apply a preset. So I could come in here and apply um, this green grass blue sky preset, let's say. Then come over and then put a profile on top of that. So I could use these camera matching profiles, let's say, because this was shot with a Fujifilm camera. I could give it a Provia film look by clicking there. And because I applied the preset first, the sliders are all pushed into the preset's position. So that is the difference. Now the other big difference is kind of under the hood. With profiles, you create those in Photoshop and I will have videos in the future about how you could create your own profiles. It's not too difficult. But during the creation process you could also inc incorporate what are called LUTs. LUTs are called lookup tables or it stands for lookup tables. And those of you familiar with video know that you often use LUTs in video to give your video a certain look, a certain feel. Typically um, a videographer will film their seen very flat and then they'll apply a LUT to give it a look. They want to give it a dusty, deserty, dry look. They'll use a LUT to give it that look. If they want to give it a warm, lush, green look, they'll use a LUT to give it that look. And it really is a very powerful tool for videographers. That is now moving over into still photography and with LUTs in video, there's a lot more things you could do to an image that Lightroom cannot do. You just cannot get these looks with Lightroom at all, but you could get them with a LUT. So you create the LUT outside of Lightroom, then you take that LUT and you could incorporate it into the profile used in Lightroom. So you could get looks that are really off the wall. And I'm developing, um, I haven't really given this pack a name yet, but for lack of a better term, it's kind of a psychedelic pack where green grass will be blue and things like that. So you could really do things that you just cannot do in Lightroom. So that is a kind of a, a cool advantage of a profile, if, if in my opinion. So again, presets still have their place, in my opinion. Generally, to get in and out of Lightroom very quickly, apply the preset, you're done, or just maybe tweak a slider afterwards and you're done. Or Use a preset to give you a look that you didn't realize you could do in Lightroom and you could learn something like you could get an infrared look or some type of look you didn't realize you could do. Then you could look over at the sliders and see what the person who created that preset did to get that look and then you learn something. You learn how to get a specific look that you could do. Profiles on the other hand are a base. You apply those first then you process after that. So it's not necessarily going to get you in and out of Lightroom very quickly, although I do uh, confess that at least the, the one, um, I'm sorry, the one um, profile that I have in here that I created looks for this image to be pretty much a finished product, but it doesn't necessarily mean that all profiles will finish your image. They're there to give you a base and you process off that. Also, you have uh, a fader or an amount slider on many of the profiles. Again, it won't be on uh, Adobe Raw, Camera Matching, or Legacy. It will be on everything under that line so that you could um, either increase the intensity of the profile or tone it down a little bit with the intensity by just moving that slider. So I think that's a distinct advantage. Uh, other, another thing that you could do with profiles is you could favorite them. There's a little star in the corner of the profile and if I click on that star so it's active, if I go up into my favorites folder, then it's there. So I have Big Sky now as a favorite. So you could favorite your profiles which helps speed up your workflow a little bit there as well. 
So I think I covered all the differences between presets and profiles, and in my opinion, why you might want to use one over the other. Um, again, I think, uh, I think it's a great addition to Lightroom, and I think that it's going to open many creative possibilities. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.